Hi guys, my name is Zane and today I'm going to show you how to install Lineage OS on the Fire HD 8. To get started in installing Lineage OS on your Fire HD 8, uh, there will be a couple requirements which I will discuss now. Uh, the first requirement would be uh, to make sure your device is the correct model. Uh, which I will show you here. Uh, so the correct model for the Lineage uh, custom ROM that I will install today which would be for the Fire HD 8, 8th generation. Um, any other device or generation which you will install this custom ROM will brick it as this custom ROM is only made for this model. Uh, the second requirement would to make sh to, to be make sure that your tablet is unlocked and uh, your tablet has uh, TWRP which is the custom recovery. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I will link my video tutorial on how you can do that in the description. So after you completed that and then you can come back and uh, continue the video. So just a heads up uh, before I continue with this installation of Lineage OS. Uh, I would like to tell you that uh, this is not my ROM. Uh, this ROM is made by uh, Kai Jones on the XTA developers forum. Uh, he's the one who uh, created this ROM for this device. Now on to the last step before we uh, install this custom ROM. Uh, uh, I would advise for you to install the tab uh, at least 70% and above. Uh, anything below 70% is kind of risky because uh, if there's any errors or uh, anything goes wrong and then your battery depletes down, it might uh, hard break your tab and it will become unusable. So always make sure that your uh, device is uh, relatively uh, charged before you install. Now uh, uh, the second uh, last step would be to uh, download the files uh, below. Uh, there are three files needed to install the uh, custom ROM, which I will show you here. Um, the first one would be the main one, which is the ROM itself, uh, which is here. Uh, I will close up for you. Uh, lineage 14.1. And then the other two, which I will explain, uh, the open gaps would be the uh, Google applications needed for the ROM, so that would include like Google Play, Google Play Services, YouTube, Chrome, and so on. This is just a minimal package, so this is just like stock. Now, uh, so now, now that the two files have been explained, the last one is uh, optional. Uh, the last one is uh, root, so if you don't know what root is, uh, you can search on Google what root is. Uh, so this, it's like um, you have a lot of benefits and stuff. However, uh, some sometimes the banking apps won't, won't work with root, so this is why this is optional. Um, but I will link a, uh, a website that tells you all about root if you want to uh, install this. Now, um, since you have three of these files downloaded, I recommend you that you. Uh, Get a micro USB, uh, no micro SD card, and you uh, install it on your tablet, which is here. Um, this is because uh, when you're installing the uh, ROM, the custom ROM, uh, you need to wipe the device first. But uh, some people wipe their internal storage, so so sometimes they actually wipe the ROM itself, and they cannot install anything unless they have a SD card. Um, so yeah, it's recommended to get a micro SD, micro SD card. On with the installation, now that we have done all the requirements and everything is downloaded with the ROM in the SD card and such, uh, we would want to power off the device. So we just need to power off. Now after the device is off, just wait a few seconds to let it finish powering off. Uh, afterwards, you want to you want to hold the power button and the volume down button at the same time 
to boot into TWRP. So let's just press this together and wait until the logo comes up and don't let go. There. Alright. So now uh, we have booted into our custom recovery. We would now want to wipe the Fire OS um, since we are going to install another OS. So the first step is to uh, wipe. Uh, don't swipe this one, you have to go to uh, advance and then you have to wipe the system, system data and cache. This is uh, all you need to wipe. And then after you selected system data cache, uh, you can swipe. Now this is what I'm um, talking about earlier, uh, the internal storage. Uh, some people just didn't go advance and they just uh, swiped and their ROM in the internal storage would be wiped. So this is why um, I told you to get a SD card. However, this is optional. Uh, it, it, however, if you do this method, uh, you just this select internal then it's okay so use the swipe now it's done so what you want to do is you want to click the home button here and after you click the home button you want to click uh, install all right so this is where yeah now you have to find where your ROM is now this is the internal storage that I did not wipe but since I did not um, install it on the internal, you would have to find where it is. But if you install it on if SD card, and then you will need to go up a level, and then you would just need to select the storage. So we just need to find uh, your uh, SD card, which is the storage one uh, here. Now, uh, as you can see, the three files that I was talking about. So now. Now you should uh, install the first one here, uh, which would be lineage uh, 14.1, and you just need to do like this and flash. And now the device will install the custom ROM. All right. So now the ROM has has installed, but now the ROM, the Lineage OS is uh, stock or standard, so there's no Google Play or anything such as that. Now you need to install that by uh, uh, installing the Google apps. So as I've mentioned before, this is like Google Play, Google Services, Chrome, Gmail, etc. So now you just need to find the uh, open gaps, to, and then you just need to slide. Okay, now you have successfully installed your ROM and Google Apps. So now uh, if you don't want root, you can just click reboot system. But uh, if you want root uh, with your custom ROM, you can uh, uh, follow these steps. So uh, you need to go back to install and then install Magist. Alright, so now everything is all done. So uh, with this thing I have done, I have installed the ROM, Google Apps and Root. So now you all you have to do is click Reboot System. And uh, just wait a couple of minutes and it will boot into Lineage OS. And here we go, uh, this is uh, Lineage OS and it's successfully installed. So I will just uh, quickly just go through this setup so I can show you what it looks like.
and here we go. Uh, Lineage OS uh, 14, which is on Nougat, uh, installed on your Amazon Fire HD 8. Um, I have, um, I've, I actually have been running this ROM for a couple of days, and I'm actually uh, pretty happy about it. It's uh, the battery life uh, has improved from Fire OS. Uh, gaming performance is surprisingly good. I, I was actually ma actually managed to uh, run a very uh, hyped game uh, as of today, which is uh, Call of Duty Mobile, um, and it actually ran pretty good. So just a quick look of the uh, operating system. Yeah, settings here. Let's just check about tab. So as you can see here, I'm on fire. Seven, fourteen point one. Here. Um. So yeah, it's uh. Uh, there's many benefits uh, to having a custom ROM uh, other than uh, Fire OS. One of its is that you can customize pretty much everything. Example, a good example here is like if you don't want it in uh, alphabetical order, you can uh, change it to have like everything, um, uh, everything without all the alphabetical orders and stuff like that. So um, thank you for watching. Uh, I will be creating a uh, review uh, sooner or later about this uh, this uh, lineage OS on the Fire HD8. Um, so be be tuned in for that. Uh, I will link uh, the video soon in the description. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, have a good day.